Hello, good afternoon, and uh, welcome to On the Couch with your host, me, the bank robber. Uh, well, it's actually not really a couch, it's more of a, it's a futon, but uh, I'm still waiting for that big score, you know, we gotta get paid still. Anyway, here on On the Couch, we've been uh, getting a lot of your uh, viewer email, and uh, I've always wondered, you know, uh, how do you fuckers keep getting my email, and uh, secondly... You know, uh, why do I even have an email? I mean, it's not like I have any friends overseas or, uh, you know, pen pals or anything like that. No, I'm a sociopath. I don't have, I don't have friends, you know, so. So anyway, uh, back to your emails. Uh, like I said, I've been getting a lot of them and uh, got a couple questions here and I uh, thought I'd answer them for you, you know, show you guys a little uh, different side of me, you know, other than just robbing banks. Uh, first question. By a Thomas Crown, oh yeah, Thomas Crown, very funny. Uh, Thomas Crown writes, uh, "Why do you like robbing banks? What is your wh why? Why do you do it?" Hmm, it's a good question, Tom. I uh, I just think robbing banks is fun, you know. I mean, I did you know your normal everyday. Uh, working at a regular place of employment and uh, I, you know, I realized those places kind of suck like you only get like a half an hour for a break and uh, you gotta answer to a bunch of other older pe a bunch of people who are just like uh, well, we have seniority over you uh, we need to uh, go upstairs and, and write papers while you guys all stay down here and work uh, so uh, and then we can pay you shitty money you know and you can go back and eating spaghetti every day and fucking ramen noodles, you know. That sucks. Ramen banks is way more fun, you know. Yeah, fucking I get to use uh, use guns, you know, that's always fun. Uh, you know, most of the banks I go into are pretty nice. You know, some nice architecture. Uh, you know, there's a couple of the drawbacks though. Is like you go in there and you're, you got your spiel shut up. You go in there and you're like... Okay, everybody, uh, get down. This is only going to take a second. Uh, we're not after your money. We're after the bank's money, you know. And uh, don't go pushing that silent alarm because we don't want any heroes because you know what happens to heroes. But there's always got to be that one guy, you know, who pushes a button to show off to the fucking teller who's kind of a hot chick or something or he tries to put us in some kind of jujitsu move or something, you know, and then I get to come around and give him one to the face which is nice it makes me feel good after you know and then sometimes I mean if the guy's like really kicking our ass then I get to you know to deal with him but uh that's happened maybe only twice and they both had it coming then you know people think bank robbing you know it's not really a job it's more of like a thing to do to get lots of money at one time true but you know, I mean, I do the same thing as everybody else does. You know, I have my morning routine. Like, I wake up, you know, I, uh, I have, I have my coffee, you know, whatever. I brush my teeth. I take a shower. breakfast you know sometimes I don't if I'm in a hurry but uh yeah it's the same thing I just get to go to work with uh, guns and do stuff that's maybe not totally legal this is a uh, question number two from uh, Tom no that's the last one from uh, who cares still this kid writes anyway uh, why do you wear a ski mask with a hole in your mouth. Come on, is that? Are you serious? You sh you don't know? Okay. Well, I wear it because I like to be scarier. You know, people like to be like, oh yeah, well, you wear it because you like to uh, do inappropriate sexual things, you know, on uh, other men. And I'm just like, no way, man. I'm just. You know, because everybody else has the ones with no mouth, you know, I like the one with the mouth hole because it's practicality too, you know, I mean, I can be scary because it's like, 
Give me the fucking money. Give me the fucking money now. See, that's kind of scary looking, you know? Also, I mean, it's practical. I can, I can smoke if I need to. I can drink water, you know? Fucking, uh, I can spit if I need to. They say I get punched in the face by some crazy fucking, some bank employee or something, and I fucking hit him in the face with my pistol, and then I realize that he knocked one of my teeth out or something, and I'm, I gotta lift up my mask to spit that. Fuck that. I just, you know, spit right in the bank, maybe on the guys that punched me, you know, fucker. Uh, and like I performed earlier, you know, it's kind of scary looking when you get up in someone's face. And I can like, see, check that out, you know, then watch. Now this is with, without the mouth hole. Bear with me. Give me the fucking money. Give me the fucking money now. See? Yeah, not really scary. Okay, and uh, final question. And this one is from somebody else I don't really care about. But uh, they write, What's your favorite movie? Aw. I know you guys might think, Oh, you like Heat, don't you? Al Pacino and Robert De Niro. I do, but that's actually my second favorite movie. My favorite movie has got to be Weird Science. You know, John Hughes, you know, rest his soul. But man, that chick was hot that they made out of the doll. And, and Chet the shit monster, <laughs> priceless. <laughs> you know, I was actually trying to get the part for uh, Daniel Plainview, you know, in There Will Be Blood. You know, take a look. Okay, next, uh, bank robber, the... Hey, uh, how's it going? Here's my, uh, my Daniel plan to use towards the end of the script. Uh, drain it! Drain it! Drain it! What do you think? Yeah, that was, uh, that was okay, um, but we'll, we'll call you back. Okay, next, uh, Day Lewis, Daniel. Yeah, they, uh, still haven't called me. So, that's all I got for you guys. Uh, hopefully I don't get to see any more of your emails, you know, because, uh, I don't want to have to make another one of these, but, you know, if I get them, then why not, you know, I've been having some downtime. They've been cracking down on security in a lot of these banks, so, uh, um, I'm trying to think of something cool to say here, like, you know, Jerry Springer has his final thoughts, uh, well, this is my final thought, uh, don't be a fucking hero.